Hi friends, my name is Lisa Dettinger and I was going to come and speak with your MOPS group a couple of weeks ago on the topic of being fully whelmed uh, based on a book I wrote and uh, that of course didn't happen because of the coronavirus. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to just bring a few nuggets of the book into it. Hopefully it'll encourage you at this time. So one of the first things that I was going to mention that I'll mention now is that there are a couple of different kinds of overwhelm. And in this season, pretty much all of us are feeling some overwhelm from our circumstances. And especially with little kids at home, it's a 24 seven, never ending, hide in the closet for five minutes to get some rest kind of a situation. And you may be feeling overwhelmed by your finances, by just being with the kids constantly. Um, maybe you're working and trying to school your kids when they normally go to school. There's, there's a lot of things that can be overwhelming. And I propose that we actually choose the kind of overwhelm that we feel. And that sounds kind of weird. Um, but there's two kinds of overwhelm. One of the kinds of overwhelm is defeated overwhelm. And a defeated overwhelm means that our circumstances are so bad, they overpower us and we feel hopeless. So when we have a defeated overwhelm, that's something that comes from the enemy because the enemy likes hopelessness. The other kind of overwhelm is surrendered overwhelm. Surrendered overwhelm doesn't change the circumstance. It doesn't mean that we're gonna to try to pretend like things are okay when they're not. It means that we trust that God is bigger than our circumstance and that it's his strength that'll get us through it. And so um, I'm gonna start reading just a little section of this book and I hope it'll encourage you in this really overwhelming time. So first is a quote from scripture. It's from 1 Chronicles 29, 11, And it says, Yours, Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Head over all means he's bigger than a global pandemic. He's bigger than four kids all throwing tantrums at the same time. <laughs> all means all. I'm going to read from the book. It means he's even head over the things that overwhelm us. It means there's no crazy busy schedule greater than God's love for you or his power within you. There's no pain deeper than his love for you. There's no tragedy as dramatic as his victory over death. There's no betrayal greater than his greatness. There's no abandonment, rejection, chronic illness, loneliness, isolation, that's more overwhelming than the presence of the living God. There's not a numbness stronger than the power of the Holy Spirit. The same power that resurrected our Lord Jesus from the dead resides within us when we know Christ as our Savior. Are we living from this power or are we letting our circumstances overpower us? Jesus conquered the grave for the former, not the latter. Friend, be encouraged. Mama, be encouraged. God's got you. He's got your kids. He's got your finances. He's got this. So yeah, it's overwhelming. Surrender to him. Don't be defeated. He's victorious. Amen.